the phone's being charged now, so we're just gonna quickly explain what's going on here. Um, so these are gonna go into the um, um, the replacement, I guess. We're replacing the welds, the spot welds that were factory done on the clutch pedal assembly. Um, this is me, my attempt without removing the dash. Uh, I think it would work, but we'll see. So these are set screws. Uh, they are 3 8 dash 16 set screws, uh, inch long. And then we have jam nuts on the bottom. Uh, I don't anticipate to put on a whole ton of torque onto this, um, just because it's um, stainless steel on a small jam nut. And, uh, yeah, they should not rip the firewall this time, hopefully. Yeah, so we will see. Yep, I'm wearing slippers with socks. What you gonna do? Um, so this 2009 Subaru STI hatch with um, 140,000 kilometers. Uh, sorry if I don't sound enthusiastic. This is my second time checking a video since my phone died earlier. Um, it has had the brake pedal and clutch pedal assembly replaced about 10,000 kilometers ago. But um, yeah, it started creaking recently again. And so the dreaded cracked firewall is actually here this time. So we got two pop spot welds on the top and the four on the bottom are looking like they're going to pop soon. Uh, you can kind of see the deformation so the, the bracket underneath is kind of trying to peel itself away already. Uh, probably any day. Oh, you can see a small micro fracture on that top one. Maybe not micro since I can see with my eye. Um, so it's got, yeah, it's breaking. She gone. Uh, it has the, it has had the um, brake master cylinder brace and the clutch master cylinder brace since about 90,000 K. Uh, that's when the, the noise first started, but the noise was fixed with the new um, brake and clutch pedal assembly bracket or a clutch pedal assembly because the support tube between the clutch pedal and the clutch fork had a crack in it that like lots of people did. Uh, so that got replaced with a newer version. Uh, hopefully that doesn't crap out too. Should be okay, we'll see. Um, so my plan is to not remove the dash, dash still there, um, is to essentially drill big ass holes to replace the spot weld. Um, you know, a few at a time, not all of them. Otherwise they'll just drop, like the brick, the bracket will just drop. So we won't do that. Uh, but essentially I'm gonna use these set screws that I explained in an earlier video. And then I'll fish them through, noting, you should note that if you're gonna follow this, uh, note that you wanna keep the Allen key bit um, on the outside so you can actually grab onto it. So essentially the idea is to um, fish, uh, put these on the inside of the cabin Put the wire through after you drill the hole and then um, shove the wire through so you can see it on the inside of the cabin. Uh, drop these vented set screws through with the Allen key on the outside, on the exterior side. Focus. Okay. Too much contrast. Focus there. So the Allen key on the outside, pull them through uh, with your nut and uh, spring washer already loaded on the other side. And I had, um, I don't have Loctite on hand, so I just use Permatex Ultra Gray. Hopefully that's okay. Um, and then, yeah, essentially you wanna, like once you can fish these through, if we get that far, um, then what you wanna do is um, grab the outside here with some, oh, my timer has gone out, anyways. Um, grab the outside uh, with some pliers, um, while you thread or put your nut on from this side of the wire so it won't fall out and then you essentially grab onto the uh, um, you hold on to the set screw with your allen key and then you turn the nut on the outside so you can tighten it and the bolt uh, the set screw gets pulled through and uh, yeah you get a tight um, joint so 3 8 dash 16 um, should give us pretty good hold force, a lot more than, uh, well, the spot wells are good. 
It's just their their diameter is kind of small, so they didn't have enough material to grab onto. But yeah, hopefully that's okay. All right, we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, one other thing um, I forgot to mention, I do have the ITS mount as well. So you don't need to comment and say, oh, you didn't have the ITS mount, that's why I broke. No, no, I had it. Yeah, just got a new Invisalign today. That's why I sound like I have a lisp. Okay, so first two drills went through just fine. I think I probably could have gotten the bottom one a bit lower before I drilled, but that was right on the spot weld. To replace the spot weld, this one should be okay. So hopefully that's enough for that one. If not, I'll draw another one next to it, but probably not. The spring washer is pretty big. We should probably be okay. And into the underside of the car we go. The abyss. Son of a bitch. Oh. All right, see the wire? I mean, I see it. I don't know if you guys see it. Uh, there, my eye can't really focus. I'm pretty sure that you can see the wire there. All right, there it is. So I just gotta grab that as the first one. Pull that wire down, thread the vented set screw on, and then pull it through. Hopefully it works. The flash is kind of out of juice, so I gotta use this anyway. Might as well take the video on the at it. I think it gives me a pretty nice view of it. There it is. Do you have enough to get through, you bastard? Come on. Come on. So I only had three eighths little bit. If you have a bigger one, slightly bigger, you know, like the next size up. Not, not like half inch. That was my next size up. I would not recommend that big. Is this it? Maybe this is maxed out. That'd be it. Well, well, that's the end of that. <laughs> I'm gonna put a nut on there, uh, hopefully with a washer, but if not, I'm gonna try the nut first, pull it through with a nut, and then, and then uh, back it out, and then pop the washer on. All right. All right, so it wasn't that much of a struggle, but I got it without the spring washer on it. Um, got some extra space. Uh, I felt it kick through, so it was caught on a bent piece of sheet metal. Uh, on the inside uh, from the drilling so I'm gonna back out the nut now and then um, hopefully it doesn't drop through but pop the spring washer on the outside so we get okay so after one bolt like actually the bolts not quite in, or the nut not quite on it was almost there it's really hard to work on it because it's like really tucked in kind of squished up right against they're gonna have to cock the sheet out of it afterwards but um, yeah, I gotta give it a few more turns. It's still compressing the spring washer, so go a bit more. And then, but on the upside, oh yeah, I just noticed this. The inside of the bracket has kind of shifted a bit, so I'm probably gonna have to drill this again before I try to pop the other one in. But I couldn't wait, so I jumped in the car. It's supported by one bolt. I'm sure it's fine. But I jumped in the car and listen to this. Yes, 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 yes. Socks and sandals, whatever. Yeah, after one bolt. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna give this one a few more cranks and then um, do the one next to it. And I think I'll do this one because it's cracking. And that one probably because it's uh, quite deformed and uh, I don't know about these two because um, it's not that deformed I might leave them because spot walls are pretty good just needs to be bigger <laughs> they're quite small anyways I'll see how I see how it is it's almost 10 o'clock so yeah I don't see the bottom ones as failure points once the top ones have been held on with uh, BP 
your hardware. But yeah. So I got smarter on the second time. Um, I swapped the aluminum wiring that I used to fish the bench head set screws out with stainless steel. Hopefully it doesn't just break in the middle of it um, from fatigue. Um, yeah, another thing was um, I shoved the second one through over there. I'm holding onto it. That's why I'm not like, oh, I need another mat right here. Can I flip this around? I don't think I can flip it now. Tail okay, anyways. Uh, I shut the second one through. I don't know if you can see it because it's all janky. Um, yeah, I found that if you jiggle it as you pull on it, it just gets past everything. Uh, it worked for me. Hopefully it works for you too. Okay, I drilled two more holes, but I just wanted to quickly show how thin the firewall is. That I When I first drilled through, I was like, there's nothing behind there. But then I realized... Dun, dun. The thinner outside is the firewall and the inside. The on the inside is not that thick, man. I don't have any, I'm not going to put calipers on it. I don't really care that much, but just, uh, just to show you. Okay, this one was actually a bit more tricky. This is what I'm talking about. That's the third one, I guess you want to call it. One, two, three. Uh, so this one is right above um like the i guess carpet or like fire retardant fabric thing right against like you can kind of see it here i think the next one like this one here will also be a problem but so when i was fishing through it kept getting caught on that one so i had to get it close enough here tension it on tension quote unquote tension it on the strut tower uh, uh, uh stud there and then go inside. Um, I kind of knew where it was going to be. Um, if you don't know where it is underneath the, like from the inside of the car, you can shine a flashlight down. And when in the dark, you can see, you'll, you'll know where it is. And then, so essentially, you'll just want to like fish your finger up. Uh, you don't have to take any panels off. I didn't take any panels off. I got there pretty easily. Um, just uh, pull on the carpet until. Like, either either tension this on here really shittily. It's not really tension, it's just kind of held on. Um, or have your wife, husband, um, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, hold on to it and jiggle it uh, while you go inside and just, like, pry the carpet slightly out of the way. And then the, the washer and that will pop, pop right through. And then, and then you're at this stage ready to for some tightening. All right, I got four in. I'm gonna leave the other two because I really don't see any. Well, there's deformation, but once the top two are tight, uh, these ones really shouldn't be getting loose at all. Uh, or like these ones shouldn't be taking that much load. If anything, it's compressive against the firewall, so the bolts aren't gonna help with that. Um, yeah, uh, so I will cock the shit out of them. Uh, probably spray them. Uh, with some gray anti-rust paint uh, but these are uh, I think yellow chromated or something like that uh, the nuts are at least the jam nuts and then yeah we're probably okay these are stainless steel um, vented set screws so they shouldn't rust too much um, yeah one thing is they are vented so you gotta get some caulking in the hole Otherwise, it's a through hole. Um, yeah, I'll give you guys one more listen while I'm on the inside. I'll leave it here. Now oh, you can come like this. Blew past my deadline, so I also got my wife to come down and help me. So be paying for that tonight. Yeah. Oh, that's smooth. No creaks. What you hear there is just the... I don't know what that is. Hopefully that's just a switch. We'll see. I can try and start the car with it on and off on that spot and see what happens. But I think we're good. 
Yay. So that took an hour and a half, including video. I'm gonna pop this back on probably another five minutes or so uh, after I clock it. So I guess, yeah, clocking might take some time to dry. Or cure, I mean, so. All right, I uh, hope you have no problems. Uh, oh yeah, one more tip, don't use stainless steel wire. Uh, they do fatigue still. Uh, I probably just go with carbon steel. Um, they probably have, they all have a better fatigue characteristic. All right, bye.